Hello and welcome to another C Sharp coding homework exercise titled Input Validation. And in this exercise, we are to create an application that contains a loop to be used for input validation. Valid entries are positive integers less than 100. Test your program with values both less and a greater than the acceptable range as well as non numeric data. When the user is finished inputting data, display the number of valid and invalid entries entered. So they want us to create a loop and we will, they will run the program until user chooses to exit. Now, if you think about uh, the structure of this whole program, we are going to ask the user to enter a number. So we will have to run at least one loop. The user may choose to exit right away, but we have to ask for a user input at least once. And therefore, the best loop for this uh, would be do while loop. So um, that's what we're going to implement with a bunch of if statements to validate the input. So the first thing I'm going to do is create some variables. Uh, we are supposed to count the valid and invalid entries. So I'm going to create integer called counter good so this will be counting the valid entries and counter bad which is going to count the invalid entries i'm going to create a string called input this is going to be the number that the user enters now we expect a number but uh, obviously input is always a string we will have to convert it later to an integer plus if the user enters uh, a letter instead of a number we will simply uh, count it as an invalid entry and add it to our counter bad it's not gonna end the loop or exit the program or anything we will gonna we're going to make sure that the invalid input is simply counted as invalid input but doesn't crash the program so these are all the variables i need for now and like I said, I'm going to create a do while loop. So do, and over here we will do a while. Now, what are we gonna do while until what? And it's kind of a, uh, the way this kind of programs, the console programs run in a loop is when the user enters Q for quit, that's when the program exits. So we're gonna do the same. We're gonna loop while the input is not the input string that if uh, the user did not enter uh, uh, q the letter q then we will keep looping and when the user enters queued q then uh, the while loop will uh, catch that and uh, exit the loop and therefore the whole program so if our input is not equal to so the syntax is input equals q we will be looping or doing the do while loop again we have a do and we will be doing that whatever is going to be in the body of the loop until or as long as the input is not equal to q but if the user enters a lowercase q then this uh, uppercase uh, Q would not pick it up so we can do input dot to upper we convert it to upper and if that does not equal uppercase Q we will go to another iteration of our loop now in our loop we will first ask for the user input so console dot right line and we will do please enter a number and it's supposed to be positive integer so I'm, i'll start from zero and it's supposed to be less than 100. it doesn't say less than equal so i guess 99 since it's uh it only says integer is less than 100 so 99 is less than 100. or type q to quit all right, so this is uh, this is our prompt for the user to enter the number or exit the program. 
So now we'll grab the input that the user entered in the uh, console dot read line. And whatever the user entered, we will pass into our input variable, which is a string. So if user didn't enter a number or if entered a bunch of words, it will simply grab that and puts it into our input variable. Now we have to make sure that the uh, user entered a valid number. But before that, we have to make sure that the input is not actually equal to Q because that's the one condition when the user decides to quit. If we don't do that uh, and the user enters Q, it would simply count as a bad input and add it to our counter bad. So first condition we need to check is if, and I'm gonna actually copy paste that because it's the same condition. If uh, the input is not equal to Q, then we can continue. We can uh, we can move on and validate the uh, the input. Make sure that it's a number. We already know it's not a Q, which means that the user did not want to exit. So whatever input the user entered uh, will be counted towards either good or bad input. So now there's two things that the user may enter. The user may enter number, which would be the correct thing. Uh, that is between. 0 and 99 or user may enter a number that is not in this range. So that would be one of the if else statements. We would check if the number is within the correct range or else if it's not we will add it to our counter bad uh, variable. However first we need to make sure that user actually entered a number and not a character or a string or a word. So for that, I'm going to use uh, try parse, uh, which is the syntax goes as if, and we are trying to convert the uh, input into a integer. So we will type integer int dot try parse, and you can see in the interlist sense it says converts the string representation of a number to its 32-bit sign integer equivalent. A return value indicates whether the conversion succeeded. So it simply returns true if it succeeds, if, the, if whatever the string was entered can be converted to an integer, or false if that is not possible. So we will do try parse, and the syntax follows as first is the string that we are trying to parse, which is gonna be the input, and second. Uh, now we can't see it. So second will be out the integer as a as a result if that actually succeeds. It, if it succeeds, it will pass the string, convert it into an integer, into a variable. In this case, they call it result. We can call it anything. So I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it out number. That's gonna be my variable called number, and I have to declare that of course. So I'm going to go line above it. And I'll do integer number. And I'll initialize it to zero. So now it will come over here. It will try to parse the input into an integer. If it doesn't succeed, then it will return false. And we can process that. Or if it succeeds, it will return uh, the value of the input into our integer variable called number. So, if that succeeds, we know now we have an integer that, in other words, user entered an actual number, and now we can validate whether it is in the correct range. So, we'll go and do another if statement. So, if the number variable, which is now returned, if it's uh, greater or equal to zero, and the number is less or equal to uh, 99 then we will add it to our counter good plus plus else in other words if the, if it, the number is not in the valid range we will add it to our counter bad oh, plus plus so again first we make sure that the user does not want to quit. 
it doesn't enter Q. Then we'll make sure that the user entered an actual number, that the string that the user entered can be converted to an integer. If it can, it will give us a number, uh, a variable number with a value that the user entered. So now we can check that actual value. Uh, so we are checking whether it's greater than zero, or greater than equal to zero, or less uh, or equal to 99. If it is, then now we have a good variable, I mean good entry. If it's not, then we have a bad entry. But remember, it will never come to this if statement block, if this returns false, because this is basically what it is doing. It tries to parse the input into an integer, and if it does not succeed, it will return false, and this is all skipped. It will come up over here at the end of the if block, and we can do an else statement. In other words, if, if it failed to parse the input into an integer, meaning that the user entered a letter or an alphanumeric character instead of a number, we can count it as a bad input again, and we can add it to our counter bad. So this is our, uh, this is really all our if statements that are needed to validate the input, and it's all within the do while loop that is gonna run until the user enters Q, either lowercase or uppercase, because we are converting it here to upper. Uh, and when that happens, the loop exits, and now, after the loop exits, we can uh, display the output. So we can come over here and do console dot right line and do something like valid numbers entered and we will display the number of uh, valid entries. So it's the counter good. And we will do console dot right line and we will do uh, invalid numbers entered and we will enter the counter bad which holds all the invalid input that the user entered so this is the whole program let's run it and see I'm gonna run that and here it is it's asking for the number 0 to 99 so let's do a valid number let's do 1 Let's do another valid number, which would be 99, which is still valid. Let's do an alphanumeric character, which is A, and I press A, and it keep continues to loop. So we have now two valid and one invalid. So let's do three valid. So I, I do 50, which is valid, and do one invalid number. Let's say 101, which is uh, invalid input, because the number is supposed to be up to 99. So, and now I want to quit, I press Q, and it's a lowercase Q, but the program exits, and it says valid numbers entered 3, invalid numbers entered 2, which is correct. We entered 1, that's valid, 99 is valid, and 50 is valid, so that's 3, and A and 101 are invalid entries. It says numbers, but basically it's entries or input. So, the program seems to work as expected. And that's really all. Very simple. One, one loop, uh, one nested if statement uh, validating uh, that the user does not want to quit. And in it, and after that, if the user doesn't want to quit, we validate that the user entered an actual number instead of uh, just a bunch of words or letters. And if that's the case, now we have our number that the user entered, and we can validate the actual range that the user is supposed to enter and if that's correct we will add it to our good input if not then we will add it to our bad input and also we'll add it to our bad input if the user entered an invalid number as far as character goes like let's say user entered alphanumeric uh, character instead of a number and we will loop again until the user enters q which means to quit and then we will display the uh, the counters for uh, valid and invalid entries. All right, so this is the program. I hope it was helpful. If it was, please leave a like, leave a comment, share with your friends, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.